we are going to make another analysis or run another study with the current model that we have but one thing we need to do first is to turn everything at the beginning right very first iteration that we are having okay and like maybe or if you just want to have two of them just two of them maybe you can say just merge these and just have this one and have this one only and rest i don't want to have anything or i just want to have these two only these are my or maybe this one and the top one only okay like these two only and we are going to proceed with these two and then i'll put this in and from this point on everything that we're going to run is going to be running through this option so option three two faces let's say and let's run this and preview this off and run this and then we'll switch back to the analysis or the different analysis that we're going to run and i think it's going to again like take some certain amount of time like maybe nine 90 seconds or so and then we'll just bake it and then go through it and also one thing that i'll be doing towards the end of this uh simulation or towards this towards the end of the screen i'll just rename some layers because these are the analysis of daylight autonomy so it's smart to put some initials at the beginning of each name such as the a to indicate this is daylight autonomy and i think we are almost there Okay, so we are, I think, the end of the average is pretty, pretty nice. So we can take this preview this off or preview this on. That's okay. And the next thing that I'll be doing, as I said at the beginning, I'll be baking all this, grouping this in, previewing this off, just, just creating sort of a setup, right, for my next works so can i rename them at the same time no but that's okay i would put an initial of the a and then put the initial of the a here the initial of the a here this may sound a bit you know like boring but trust me it's quite important when it comes to the other types of the analysis and with this being said what i'll be doing obviously i'll be just creating another group for all this but this time i'll make it into a white and pull out a scribble and then say with a scribble let's say it is daylight economy and increase it to 50 get this to group and that's pretty much it so like let's take a closer look at what we're going to do next so in the next analysis we'll be doing a point in time grid based analysis this is basically telling us what is luminance what is illuminance, radiance, or irradiance kind of a thing. But the logic is going to be pretty same. So let's set up the uh, analysis first, and then we'll jump back into the details. So this is my model. I'll be putting my model in. And this time it's asking for sky, right? And sky is, since it's point in time, uh, basically it's a daylight analysis within the, uh, with the, with the time with a time parameter in it and the sky therefore it has a sky parameter which has a time input as well so one thing that we'll be doing for that is just grabbing this there are a bunch of ways to create a sky right we can say standard sky we can say illuminant climate-based sky standard sky so let's grab climate-based sky 
So we can connect this. North is going to be the north. And our VEA file is the same. So I can put it in here. The month we can say, like, let's say uh, 21st of, not this one, sorry, 21st of, let's say, December at 3 p.m. Colored meaning uh, if it's if you want to have this sky as colored or not, default is false. I don't think it's a huge deal, so we can have it as such. All right. And then the next thing that I want you to do here is maybe I can pull out a data here, which is going to be indicating my model, but I want it to come here. And maybe something here as well so that we don't have things are overlapping okay the metric so if you right click to this metric what we see here is default is illuminance so we are if you put zero it's illuminance if you put one irradiance if you put two luminance if you put three it's radiance and what are these values? I'll be talking about these values just in a second, but let's put a list item first. And here is our list item. Or we can put a value list as well, so that we know what is happening. Or list item is gonna be faster, so let's pull out a list item. I'm just saying list item, sorry. I'll just create something between zero and three. And this is going to be my metric, right? Three is radiance, zero is illuminance, uh, one is radiance, two is luminance, and so on and so forth. So what are these things? Maybe I can put a toggle here, maybe about post toggle, and put this in. And what are these things? So if I switch back to my uh, presentation, illuminance is a lux, basically lumi luminous, lumine luminous, or Luminous flux per unit area, it's called lux, is the measure of the light that re light receive, amount of light received on a surface. Okay, so it's basically onto the surface. Luminance, on the other hand, is the exact the opposite. So it's sort of a reflection or emitted from a surface. So that is basically it. And for the other two is the ray radiance and radiance. Radiance is basically the results of like what per square meter what irradiance. Radiance is what per square meters. Uh, irradiance is receiving the energy from different directions, whereas radiance is having it only one single direction. We can think this through or think those as our vectors. And if we run this analysis now, Let's see what we will have. Probably it's gonna take the same amount of time, hopefully less, but probably the same amount of time because we're putting the same amount of sensors here as well. Again, we received this value here and like in the probably it's gonna again like take a couple of take a couple of minutes or so yes so it's like 51 seconds and if we are receiving the result so if you put this result as like illuminance you see we are having this as well so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to define how we see or how we look at these results by changing the legends and the colors and automate some values towards the legend so stay tuned for the next one